Hello and welcome to this lesson on the tune God Save the Queen, which here in the UK is of course our national anthem. If you're watching this video, I don't know, 20 years from now, you might be singing God Save the King. It's a scary thought, isn't it? If you live in America, you know this tune as My Country, Tis of Thee, uh, which of course is a very patriotic song over there. Anyway, uh, I looked this up and I didn't realise we actually don't know who wrote the tune of this. Obviously there's been different sets of words over the years for uh, the different countries. And I know in America they had a special set of words uh, when slavery was abolished. So it's a pretty important song for both US and UK residents. Uh, so let's get started. I haven't got a melodeon that I can play this in its normal key, which is F major. Well, I have, but it's a three row melodeon. I don't want to use that. So I'm going to just pitch it up slightly one tone in the key of G on this D, G melodeon. And so because we're in the key of G, the notes on the G row, the row nearest to the bellows, will have the normal heads, and the notes on the D row, the outside row, will have the diamond heads. Generally, the whole thing is played in position minus one, where our first finger is on the note above the root button. So the root button on this fourth button start melodeon is button four. So if I put my first finger there, and my second finger on the button below that and so on, that's the home position. Minus one is one up from there. If you've got a third button start instrument, uh, your minus one position looks like that, okay? But I'm here. And I stay here all the while, apart from the very end where I actually make use of these extra notes. Now, if you don't have them, don't worry, because I'll give you uh, some alternatives for that. So we're looking for grand here. We're not looking for kind of um pa pa. There's one bar or a couple of bars where I do a kind of um pa pa because it's fairly unavoidable. But generally, we're looking for a nice, strong, majestic, sustained feel to this. So in our first bar, we start on G on the root note of this row, finger two, and then we play the same note on the D row. So we push on the G row for the G, and we pull on the D row for the same G. And the reason we change rows is because the chord changes because we have a G major chord and G bass for the first G on the push and then we have an E minor chord and E bass for the second G on the pull. So I'm playing the bass note and the chord together and by the way it's three beats of the bar so those are the first two beats of that first bar and on the third beat of the bar we go back to the G row, back to the button we played earlier, but still pulling, that gives us an A, and we're gonna play what amounts to an A minor seventh here, a C major chord with an A bass. So put that together, that first bar. And you have a nice grand start to the tune. 